Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm going to be doing a dual commentary with my good friend Lights Out. What's going on, dude? Uh, nothing much, man. Just uh, having a good time, chilling, chilling. And uh, we are going to be talking about the new Blackout mode for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and the player count that got leaked out over on the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Reddit. Now, I have the post on screen for you guys, and the picture shows a PSN account from the English slash Chinese version of BL4 on the PlayStation Store. And to the right of that, we see a player count of 2 to 60 network players. And this more than likely means that there's going to be a total of 60 players in the blackout mode, which could mean bad news for a lot of fans expecting there to be 100 players. So how do you feel about this, Jesse? Yeah, this is definitely bad news for anybody that expected 100 people or more for Blackout, considering that they already said that this map is supposed to be 1,500 nuke towns side by side next to each other, etc. This is going to be a massive map from how they explained it with elements of every single Black Ops game guns, zombies, multiplayer. I'm pretty sure they even mentioned campaign elements into this. For 60 people, it's going to play like a much, much slower PUBG. I don't know how I feel, you know, quite about that at this point. I'm hoping that Activision can somehow muster up and, and just give us quality servers. Yeah. Especially since this is supposed to be, you know, like their black button or especially since this is supposed to be their blockbuster like mode for this game. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're absolutely right. But the thing is, though, if you take a look back at the headquarters in World War Two, that was pretty much broken for about a month and a half or so. And, uh, you know, the headquarters wouldn't populate with players. Uh, some of the events, like the flat gun event, doesn't occur. Um, so, I don't know. It, I really just hope that it's working properly when the game comes out on launch date. But, I mean, like I said, looking back at World War II, the headquarters was broken. So, we'll see what happens. But I agree. I mean, one issue that I have with Fortnite a lot is when I'm, uh, you know, landing somewhat far away from a lot of players, I feel like I'm playing a walking simulator, basically, because th there's no action. The game gets kind of boring. And that's why a lot of players kind of feel that Fortnite, uh, you know, w won't last that long for a competitive scene. And I feel the same way about the blackout mode. I feel there's going to be a, a heavy walking simulator because uh, the map is going to be so big. There's not going to be too many players. There's not going to be so much action. So uh, how do you feel about that, Jesse? No, you're absolutely right. There's a lot of games I jump into Fortnite and I'll land at even popular areas like uh, Burger Town or I'll land at um, Retail Row where generally they're populated but maybe one person will join or or land there and I feel like I spend literally the next 10 minutes searching empty houses and running to the next area just to get into a gunfight or to, to get into engagements. So having yep. a large map with 60 people, it's like I said, it's going to feel like a PUBG. When I play in the few times I played PUBG and H1Z1, the map is massive. And to have 100 people on those maps and to rarely see people in the beginning of the match until the circle starts getting smaller, it's so slow, it's boring, and that's why I do not like those games. Fortnite is on a little bit of the better side because it is a little bit more fast-paced. But again, even with Fortnite, I do feel like I'm I'm playing running simulator. Perfect yeah. analogy. Yeah, we'll see what happens, though. I mean, it, it just really does look like Blackout is going to have 60 players. And uh, like we were talking about earlier, man, I, I just don't feel Blackout is going to be operating on launch date for uh, for Black Ops 4. I, I just I just don't see it happening. Maybe like a month down the road. Because like we, we saw with the paint shop for World War II, that took like about, <laughs> what, three months or so? Four months or so, right? Six months. Six months until the paint shop was finally added to World War II. And then if you take a look back at Infinite Warfare, the combat record wasn't live when the game first came out. The emblem Leader editor. Board. Yeah, Leaderboards 2 emblem editor. It, it just, something like this should not happen in a game that's been in development for three freaking years. Sadly, it does look like Blackout won't be operational on, on Black Ops on the release date for Black Ops 4, but I mean, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm just not getting my hopes up. And it needs to be working 
to some degree because i mean there's going to be a lot of people who are battle royale fans who are not call of duty fans that's going to be picking this game up just for blackout alone this game needs to make a good first impression or what they're going to do is they're going to bash it they're going to ruin the name with their audiences and communities just because it's not properly working the day they buy the game and unlike a lot of free battle royale games this is a premium game you're paying 60 bucks for a triple a title versus all the other guys who i mean look at um h1z1 who just made their game for free realm royale just come out that's taken off it's free fortnite of course is free you have pubg that's 30 bucks but still again that's 30 bucks a lot of you people are gonna be buying blackout or black ops 4 rather just for blackout alone they're gonna feel like they're paying overpriced at 60 bucks to just play this mode that's not gonna be working for who knows one month two three months we don't know if it's gonna be working or how long it's gonna take so i just hope that it makes a really good launch impression i do too man call of duty definitely needs something like that to you know bring a lot of new fans over because i i do feel that the past i mean I liked Infinite Warfare. I like I like World War II now because of all of the updates. But you know, Black Ops 4 needs to make a good impression, like you said, on those players coming over from the various battle royale games out there. And they're they're going to be in some heavy competition with Red Dead, Battlefield. They they got a lot of work on their hands. I know Treyarch can do it for sure, but like I said, they they do have a lot of food on their plate, so to say. And Blackout has so much potential if it's not one of these last minute rushed modes. Like I feel like it is one of those last things they decided to focus on considering Battle Royale started blowing up in the past year and a half. It, it just has the crazy amount of potential. It's everybody's favorite Call of Duty franchise. Yep. Like if you look at the polls and numbers of people who voted Black Ops versus Modern Warfare versus the futuristic stuff, Black Ops blows everybody else out of the water it is everybody's favorite preferred franchise i'm not going to say everybody but mostly as a general consensus black ops is the favorite franchise of call of duty having elements from zombies multiplayer campaign characters all thrown into one big giant atmosphere it has the biggest i guess uh potential to be the next best thing especially for the franchise it does so yep it absolutely does they need to make a very good impression on fans or or else i i don't know man for the past like three years or so cod has been somewhat mediocre i feel i know the devs can do a lot better you know given the massive amounts of time they have to develop this game and uh, the previous cod games but like i said we'll see what happens I i'm keeping my hopes up for sure like you said it is Treyarch that's developing this game Treyarch is my favorite developing studio. I love all the Black Ops games, and I'm sure Black Ops 4 is going to be good, but I want it to be amazingly good. I want it to be super, super good, because this year there's so many games that are in competition, like we like we just listed, and, uh, you know, COD needs to be that number one game again, and it has the potential for sure with Blackout, and the multiplayer does look pretty dang solid, I feel. And uh, yeah, now another thing I want to talk about though, Jesse, is that little player count on the left side of the screen. You see where it says like 2 to 12 um, on the left side right there. I'm going to put it on screen for you guys right now. Um, that, I really don't have any clue what that could mean. At first, I thought maybe it's the amount of players in the lobby, but then I said, hey, there's going to be 10 players in, in a game total, 5v5, so that can't be uh, what it is. Do you by chance have any idea, Jesse? I have zero idea. So, I mean, this, like, like you mentioned, it's a 5v5 lobby, unless it's a custom match, and there's 12 people there, and, and custom match... I, I have no idea. Yeah, could be a custom lobby. That's a very good theory as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. I'm super excited for Black Ops 4. I, I really do like how they did Specialist this year as well. I think it, it's going to be kind of similar to Overwatch and Rainbow. And both those games, I, I have. A, I like watching Rainbow for a competitive Overwatch as well. I don't really play them that much anymore, but there's still games that I check up on here and there. And I feel Black Ops 4 is going to be somewhat similar to that style of, you know, heroes and operators. 
Um, but yeah, going back to the blackout mode, man, you, like we said, there's going to be so many players coming in from all the Battle Royale games that want to try this game, that are going to stream this game. I'm pretty sure the big streamers like Myth, Ninja, um, all those guys, they're going to be streaming Blackout, trying it out for sure. And uh, who knows, it could be the next big thing. It could be the Battle Royale to top over Fortnite. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, Jesse, do you have anything to possibly say about that? Do you think there is some big potential for Blackout to possibly overtake Fortnite? I think so, and I really hope it does. I mean, knowing Call of Duty's track record as far as competitive, uh, the casual scene, the pub stomping scene, the sniping scene, there are so many different communities within Call of Duty uh, for each game. There's so many little sub-genre communities that I think coming together, including Blackout with the outside streamers who don't normally play Call of Duty, I think it has 100% potential to be able to top the t uh, the twitch leaderboards again and being on top of youtube gaming um ranking as far as like most streaming uh for for that particular game for that category i i hope so i really do yeah both of us have some really high expectations for black ops 4 and track so guys that's going to be it for the video if you guys did enjoy then leave a like um, make sure to go check out lights channels down below his uh, Twitter as well. All the links are going to be down there. And uh, yeah, he's a really great guy. He makes some awesome Call of Duty videos. Go check him out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. How was that? Uh